Hey guys, Richard here with Down Grid Survival. Um, posted a video two nights ago, and it was just a video clip, and I'm sure some of you have seen it. Uh, if you haven't, go back and look at it. But it's a video clip of our, the leader of our uh, supreme regime, where he's stating that uh, there's going to be another illness that sweeps our land. And he just comes right out and says this. And there's going to be a lot of folks that says, oh, you know, it's taken out of context, or, uh, you know, he misspoke. He seems to misspeak a lot, doesn't he? Um, when a lot of the things he misspeaks about tend to come true. So, <clears throat> he, uh, he, he, he just comes out and says that there's going to be uh, another one coming. And coming soon, most likely, because uh, we are getting closer and closer to November and that's an important time frame here in the United States so get ready for that one uh, first and foremost just be aware that um, you know just get ready for it and you know it could be this monkey business too uh, it could be that, that that was supposed to be it and it just didn't catch on um, didn't spread and if you haven't really learned much about the origins of that it's kind of strange uh, typically, this is something that is found in, in Africa, and all of a sudden it started popping up in many places around the world just spontaneously and uh, infecting individuals that didn't, didn't, or hadn't traveled, um, and, and just kind of, kind of strange, right? Just, just doesn't happen that way, and even some scientists have spoken out and said, you know, things, th this doesn't just happen this way, it's just not right. So, uh, so I don't know. Uh, that that certainly hasn't taken off and hasn't uh, gotten much you know, much traction. So be looking for something you know more serious. Uh, I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking there could be something more serious on the horizon that's gonna be thrown at us here real soon. Now, <clears throat> setting that aside, there's a, another another topic here that I want to want to lead into, and that is. The people that just don't get it, and in particular, the people that are in your inner circle, that, yeah, they they understand to a degree what's happening, and maybe they support the idea. Well, no, maybe they understand the idea of the need to prep and get ready and be prepared for all these uncertainties that are being thrown at us. Yet they just drag their feet, and they just don't put forth the effort and time that is necessary into it because they've got more important things to be doing right and and I'm not suggesting that you drop everything in life and just focus on prepping although I suspect there's going to become a time where uh, prepping will be pre prevalent and that'll be the number one and most important thing on everyone's mind um, and, and, and it's going to be too late for a lot of people at that point so I'm not suggesting that yet um, yeah, I'm you know, till, still telling people and encouraging people to go out and live your life and go out and enjoy life, do things you enjoy doing, spend time with friends. But you can't just let that be the sole driving force of all your time and energy. You've got to, you've got to get serious about prepping and getting ready. You know, in the in. Those of us that are putting forth the time and the effort, we've got people that are very dear to us, very close to us, that we love and care about very much. And we don't want to see their demise. We don't want to see them struggle. And, you know, a lot of us are likely to say, you know, I'm going to help you. I'm going to be here for you. I'm going to, I'm going to do everything I can. But it's also going to be to our own peril. Because, you know, I'm one person. And there's only so much that I can do for my family. And, you know, it seems that I'm just not getting all the support that I hoped that I'd be getting. Yet I'm going to keep pressing forward and doing everything I can to prepare. To make things a little better or a little easier for my family. And one day they're going to open their eyes and they're going to see what's happening around them and they're going to appreciate everything that I have done. But that doesn't help me right now. And my frustration is growing by the day.
because people just aren't taking it seriously. And I'm not real sure what to do about that. I'm not sure how I should move forward with this. How I should handle that. So if you have any suggestions for me, let me know. Uh, and recently uh, we talked about, in a, in a recent video we talked about, uh, what did we talk, what was the title of that video? I don't remember the title of the video, but anyway, a lot of the commentary was, um, people are just going to be out of luck, you know, and, and, you know, too bad, too sad, you know, it always about helping people that come to your door, and, and how, how are you going to deal with people when they show up, and, you know, they need food, or they need some kind of assistance and help, and how much are you willing and able to, to, to help them? And so that was the, the gist of that video. And, and a lot of the commentary was, you know, people will take a God-like approach, a Christ-like approach, and try to help as much as they can. And and I, I fully support that and believe that too. But there's also, you know, there, there's just going to be minimal help that I'm going to be able to give to minimal people. And so a lot of people are just going to be out of luck and turned away. But... It's kind of hard to do that with family. So you just you're kind of stuck. Now I know some of you are going to say, you know, family or not, you know, they're just going to be you know, out of luck and that's just how it is. And to a degree, I, I can take a hard line like that. But when it's still when it comes down to it, family is family. And all I can do is hope and pray that they will uh, they will get on board and start putting forth the effort the time the money to gathering the supplies and the foods and, and the things that we need I don't know so <clears throat> that's it for this video uh, I'm frustrated and uh, you know it's something I'm dealing with right now but if you have any suggestions for me Drop them in the comments down below. I would appreciate that. And uh, I will see you in the next video.